Dear viewers, Namaskar. Welcome to this edition of the News Bulletin in the headlines today. Enterprising effort of RSE Collective of Seal Rockula Steel Plant helps accrue huge savings. Employees felicitated in sale RSP under Sale Sabah scheme. And street plays organized in peripheral villages of Rockula as mark of Swachhata Pakwada observations at Sale RSP. Employees of Spa General Hospital Award. Sujani Mela come award function held in different departments of Sale RSP. And sensitization tour organized for spouses of law and finance department of Sale Rock Street Band. Director in charge. Felicitates award-winning employees and departments of Sale Rockella Steel Plant. Innovative endeavor helps Sale Rockella Steel Plant earn useful revenue. First ever dispatch of scrap plate mill backup roll in single piece uncut form. And employees felicitated in Sale RSP under Sabash Award Scheme. In-house developed laboratory information management system launched at Sale Rawkula Steel Plant. Employees awarded under Utkarsh Award Scheme of Sale RSP and multitude of programs organized by different departments of Sale RSP to mark the Swachhata Pakwara 2024. Suraksha Sanjuk Setu, a new foot over bridge, inaugurated at Raw Material Handling Plant of Sale RSP. Silicon Steel Mill of Sale Rawkula Steel Plant creates new single day production record and Sujani Mela come award function held in different departments of Sale RSP. Awareness campaign and competitions mark National Safety Week observations at Sale Rockilla Steel Plant. Employees felicitated in Sale RSP under Sabash Award Scheme and Sujani Mela come award function held in different departments of Sale RSP. Steel Safety Day observed at Sail Rock Plastic Plant. Increase productivity, ensure safety, promote sustainability, and expand market presence. Advises Mr. Atanubhomi, DIC to RSP Collective in a special interaction session, Chunati. Employees felicitated at Sail RSP under Shabash Award Scheme. Now, the news in detail. The repair shop electrical that is RSE Department of Sale Rockula Steel Plant RSP has successfully overhauled the sophisticated high rating ID fan HT motor of converter 3 of steel melting shop 2 to bring huge savings for the company. Notably, the heavy duty 2500 kW BHEL make HT motor had been in operation since 2012 in converter 3 before it was decided to overhaul the motor. RSC took up the challenge to overhaul the same using in-house expertise. With meticulous planning and execution, the collective successfully completed the job. It is noteworthy that it was the first ever overhauling of ID Fan 3 motor by the RSC collective. In view of the cost of the motor being rupees 79 lakhs in 2016, the effort has helped the plant accrue huge savings. In a function organized recently at SMS2, Mr. T.P. Sivashankar, CGM SMS2, felicitated the team associated with the overhauling of the motor. Employees from different departments of Sale Rockula Steel Plant have been felicitated under Sale Sabah scheme acknowledging and rewarding their outstanding contributions. In Hot Strip Mill 1, five employees including one executive were awarded by Mr. Subrat Kumar CGM HSM1 CRM SSM Pipe Plant and Roll Shop. Present on the occasion were Mr. Kalyan Samazdar GM in charge HSM1 and other officers and employees of the department. Similarly, in Captive Power Plant 1, Mr. B.S. Karta CGM Electrical and Power 
handed over the Sabash awards to seven executives and seven non-executives. Present on the occasion were Mr. K. S. Virdi, GM in charge, CPP1, sectional representatives and other officers of the department. In CGM Services Office, Mr. M. N. V. S. Prabhakar, CGM Services, handed over the Sabas award to 18 employees including executives in the presence of the senior officers. In Bolani Ore Mines, eight employees were awarded under the scheme. Mr. Joydev Chattopadhyay, CGM, BOM, presented the awards. As a part of the Swachhada Pakwada observation in sale from 16th to 31st March 2024, street plays and dance drama were organized in peripheral villages. On 18th March, a Gram Sava was organized near Bangla Chowk at Jora Bahal village in Latikata block. Dr. Puspa Kumari, additional CMO MNHS, the guest speaker, elaborated on health, hygiene, and sanitation. A dance drama was also staged on the occasion by Sagar Dance Group of Rorkela, highlighting the importance of Swachhata in building Swach and Swast Bharat. More than 100 villages attended the Gram Sabha. Ms. Munmun Mitra, GMCSR, welcomed the gathering, while Mr. T.B. Topo, AGMCSR, proposed a formal vote of thanks. Mr. B. Eka, Senior Field Assistant, CSR coordinated the function. A Nukkar Natak was organized on 22nd March in the Friday Heart held at Bijadi village in Bisra block. The artist of Sagar group conveyed messages on litter-free India, ban on single-use plastic, hygiene and sanitation, waterborne and mosquito-borne diseases through the street play, which attracted a huge crowd comprising both young and old. The function was attended by Ms. Munmun Mitra, GMCSR, Mr. A. N. Pati, AGMCSR, and the team. In a function organized at New Conference Hall of Spa General Hospital on 21st March 2024, employees of the hospital were awarded two recognition schemes. Dr. B. K. Hota, ED, MNHS, Dr. N. P. Sahu, CMO, Dr. L. K. Biswal, CMO, Dr. J. K. Acharya, CMO, Dr. P. K. Mahapatra, CMO, Dr. R. R. Mohanty, Additional CMO, Ophthalmology and Medical Administration, GR, DASH, GM, Personal, IR, ER, CT, and M, and many other senior doctors and executives were also present in the function. Under the recognition scheme for excellence in patient care for second quarter male medical award was adjudged as the winner, while JN Center for OHSC bagged the runners up award. In third quarter, Pediatric Ward won the first place, while Nehru OPD got the runners up spot. Dr. BK Hota presented the awards to the teams. It is worth mentioning here that the scheme was introduced last year to bring about overall improvement in patient care in Ispa General Hospital by creating a competitive mindset to work and motivate the employees working in various areas of our hospital to put their best effort in their area of work. The scheme is a group recognition scheme and administered on a quarterly basis. The winners get a gift amount of rupees 10,000 while the runner sub team receives 5,000. Trophies and certificates of appreciation are also given to both the groups. The evaluation is being done by the evaluation committee based on the feedbacks received on the services provided by different unit area of IGH. The feedbacks are taken through Karmi Mitra app and Sampark app. In addition to the above, suggestion boxes are kept at different locations of IGH for receiving feedback. In the same function, instant recognition awards for exemplary performance in respective areas were presented to 20 employees that carry certificate of appreciation and token gift. All the CMOs presented the certificate of appreciation token gift to the awardees. In his address, Dr. Hatha congratulated and appreciated the efforts of the awardees and urged them to continue with the good work. During their address, the CMOs congratulated the awardees and motivated them to serve with smile, generous behavior and keep the spirit of teamwork high. Mr. G. R. Das delivered the inaugural speech, briefed about the award schemes and coordinated the function. Mr. S. C. Paricha, Deputy Manager, Personal T and M proposed a vote of thanks. Srujani Mela come award functions were held in different departments of sale RSP recently. The creativity scheme saw huge one-time and recurring savings incurred by the implemented suggestions and overwhelming response of the employees in the Mela. In a Sujani function held at Traffic and Raw Material Department, Mr. Hiralal Mahapatra, GM in charge, TNRM, presided over the function. Mr. B.K. Behra, AGM IED, briefed about the status of Sujani. Mr. Dhiraj Kumar, manager, TNRM, coordinated the function, and all 47 suggestions were awarded, out of which nine have already been implemented. 
cash award to the tune of Rs 3,250 was given to the employees. One-time benefit that occurred, accrued from the implemented suggestion was Rs 90 lakhs, whereas the recurring benefit was amount to Rs 4.6 lakhs. Several intangible benefits have resulted from the implemented suggestions. More than 150 new suggestions were generated on account of Mela. Mr. R. K. Shah, GM in charge, Oxygen Plant, presided over the surgeny function of Oxygen Plant. Mr. S. S. Punia, manager IED, briefed about the status of surgeny. Mr. Pranab Panigrahi, senior manager, Oxygen Plant, coordinated the function. In all, 67 suggestions were awarded out of which 32 have been already implemented. Cash award to the tune of Rs 67,050 was given to the employees. Around 100 new suggestions were generated on account of Mela. As a part of the HR initiative, Pragati Re Sathi, a planned visit was organized for the spouses of employees of Sail Rockler Steel Plant to sensitize them about the work conditions and working norms of the plant to become effective partners of progress. On 23rd March, spouses of employees of Finance and Law Department were taken around Blast Furnace 5, Steel Melting Shop 2, and Horse Ship Mill 2. Mr. A.K. Behria, E.D. F.N.D., Mr. P.K. Dar, G.M. in charge, Town in Administration and Personal, and Dr. P.K. Sahu, G.M. in charge, Personal, interacted with the visitors. In the orientation program, the groups were shown a video on plant overview and safety. During interaction, the senior officers urged the guests to continue their unstinted support and encourage their partners to adhere to safety norms and standards. The visitors were briefed about the process of steel making right from the raw material channelization to finished products. The program was coordinated by Ms. Subra Rajeshwari, Deputy Manager Personal and Personal General Team. In a function organized at the Manthan Conference Hall in the office of the Director in Charge, employees and departments that have won awards in external competitions were felicitated by Mr. Tanu Bhamek, Director in Charge of Kala Steel Plant with additional charge of Bokaro Steel Plant. Present on the occasion were Mr. S. R. Suryavanshi, ED Works, Mr. Somnath Ripati, EDMM, Mr. Tarun Mishra, ED, PNA, with additional charge of projects, Mr. Alok Verma, ED Mines, Mr. A.K. Behuria, ED FNA, are the Chief General Managers and Head of Departments. It is worth mentioning here that RSP has won the prestigious Platinum Award in Global Environment Award 2024 that was presented in the Global Clean Energy Summit 2024 held at New Delhi. Mr. P. S. Kanan, CGM EMD and Utilities, Mr. P. K. Sahu, CGM MS, Mr. P. C. Das, GM in charge EED, Mr. V. V. R. Murthy, GM EED and Mr. Anubinda Manti, GM Business Excellence handed over the trophy and certificate to the director in charge. Similarly, the three member team comprising Mr. Sumitra Pati, Mr. Sobhagya Ranjan Sahu and Mr. Benu Sahu of New Plate Mill that has won first prize in repair and maintenance category in the 23rd National Supervisory Skills Competition organized recently at Kolkata by the Confederation of Indian Industry CII Eastern Region was also felicitated by Mr. Bhomik, Ms. Rajshri Banerjee, CGM HRD and Mr. Kartikya Behra, CGM, NPM and SPP also joined the felicitation ceremony. With greater emphasis on maximum revenues, the marketing department of sale Rorkela Steel Plant, RSP is proactively collaborating with different units to find innovative solutions and supplement the production units in enhancing the profitability of the plant. In one such endeavor, a scrap plate mill backup roll in single piece uncut form was dispatched for the first time by RSP. It is noteworthy that scrap plate mill backup roll has more than 60 tons weight and it requires high capacity vehicle for transportation. Length of such vehicle is more than range of the way bridges available in RSP and hence weighment with such a vehicle is not possible. So, this type of roll is cut into pieces and then transported by the parties. Due to this difficulty, parties are seldom interested in purchasing these rolls and scrap rolls are lying undisposed for a long time. To resolve this issue, marketing and roll shop team of RSP took the challenge of developing process to weigh the rolls without cutting. After a lot of brainstorming, it was decided to weigh the roll using wagon. 
with proper coordination between marketing, roll shop, traffic and raw materials, production, planning and control, finance and accounts and C and IT department, the roll was loaded in flat type wagon and weighment of the roll was done. Then the roll was dispatched in trailer for the first time in single piece uncut form. The innovation has paved the way for disposal of similar roles, thus helping the plant earn useful revenues. Employees of Sale Rockella Steel Plant are being felicitated in different departments for their commendable performance with innovative contributions. In AD Work Secretariat, 36 employees covering different units of RSP were felicitated with Sabash Award by Mr. S.R. Suryavanshi AD Works on 21st March for their exemplary performance. These efforts have brought about substantial improvement in processes, production and overall productivity of the plant. Present on the occasion were Chief General Managers and HODs of concerned departments. Award winners shared their experiences and assured to continue the good work in future. Program was coordinated by Mr. Ricky Agarwal, Senior Manager, ED Works Secretariat. On the same day, four employees of New Plate Mill were awarded with Sabash Awards. Mr. Kartikya Behra, CGM, NPM and SPP presided over the function and handed over the awards in the presence of other senior officers of the department. Mr. Tishri Sahu, Deputy Manager Personal, coordinated the function. On 23rd March, a similar function was organized at Raw Material Handling Plant, where 18 employees, including executives from operation, mechanical and electrical sections of the department were awarded under Sabash scheme. Mr. S. S. Roy Chaudhary, CGM, RM, HP, handed over the awards. Mr. H. N. Yadav, Senior Manager, RMHP, coordinated the function while Mr. Subendu Garud, Manager Personal, proposed a formal vote of thanks. An in-house developed laboratory information management system was launched at Sale Raukela Steel Plant by Mr. Atanu Bhomik, Director in Charge, RSP, with additional charge of Bokaro Steel Plant on 25th March 2024. Present on the occasion were Mr. S. R. Shurivanshi, ED Works, Mr. Somnath Tripathi, EDMM, Mr. Tarun Mishra, EDPNA with additional charge of projects, Mr. Alok Verma, ED Mines, Mr. AK Behuria, EDFNA, many chief general managers, heads of departments, and senior officers of the plant. Mr. AC Sarkar, CGM, RCL explained the utilities of the system, while Mr. KK Sengupta, CGM, C&IT detailed about the system. Ms. Khushbu, manager, RCL showed the key features of the system online. Mr. Bhomik took a keen interest in the system and queried about the accessibility of the available data of the different departments. He congratulated the team and said that the real-time availability of data will play a key role in streamlining the processes and operational efficiency of the plant. Notably, the team that has developed the system includes Mr. R. Kiran, GM, RCL and Ms. Khushbu Mishra, manager from RCL and Mr. S. Behra, GM, C and IT and Mr. Dilip Behra, DPO from C&IT. It is noteworthy that LIMS was a long-standing requirement of the research and control lab of RSP. As the market price of the system runs to few crores besides a long commissioning period, it was decided to develop the system in-house by a team of employees from RCL and Computer and Information Technology Department. The team visited sister units in sale to have the first-hand knowledge of LIMS implemented there. The work started in October 2023 and modules were completed in January 2024. Rigorous testing was done by RCL and C&IT to make all necessary modifications in the program. Finally, the UAT was completed in March 2024. Introduction of the system has now enabled entire data of raw materials, hot metal, molten steel, etc. from RMHP to mills to be available to users. At present, data of last six months is available. In terms of flow, process data is fed from laboratory machines to limbs and then to SAP system. This automotive move will help to effectively manage samples and associated data. By using a limbs lab can automate workflows, integrate instruments and manage samples and associated informations. Employees of different departments of Sale Raukela Steel Plant was awarded under the Utkars scheme recently. An Utkars award function was the employees of the Town Engineering Department was organized at Town Engineering Conference Hall 
on 21st March 2024, Mr. P. K. Swai, CGM, TN and SCSR presided over the function and presented certificates of appreciation and a coupon of rupees 400 to each of the four employees of the power distribution department and six employees of town engineering electrical department. He congratulated them and urged them to continue with the good work. Present on the occasion were Mr. B. K. Jojo, GM in charge, Town Engineering, Mr. Roshan Kalko, GM TE Electrical, Mr. Mangal Oram, GM TE Water Supply Town, and other senior officers of the Town Engineering and Town Service Department. Mr. S. C. Paricha, Deputy Manager, Personal and Town Medical, coordinated the function. Another Utkarsh Award function held in Special Plate Plant, in which Dr. P. K. Padi, GM in charge, SPP handed over the awards to five employees, including executives from design department shops, mechanical and SPP for successfully modifying the roles of AF furnace. Present on the occasion were other senior officers of the department. Swachata pledge, taking ceremonies and cleanliness drive were conducted in different departments of sale RSP to mark the Swachata Pakwara 2024. A massive Cleanliness drive was carried out in IG Park on 25th March. Mr. P. K. Swain, CGM, TA and CSR led the drive. Present on the occasion were Mr. P. K. Das, GM in charge, personal and town. Mr. M. Orao, GM, water supply town. Mr. T. G. Kanekar, GM in charge, town services. Dr. Deepa Lavanger, Deputy CMO, public health. Dr. Abhijit Bishwas, TGM, horticulture and in charge, ZDP and other officials of RSP. Around 40 students of Deepika Ispat Sikhya Sadhan also took part in the cleaning and sensitization initiative. The program was coordinated by Mr. Rasananda Pradhan, Junior Officer, Public Health and Horticulture Department. On 25th March, Sintering Plant 1 organized the Swachata campaign in which large number of employees including executives of the department took part in the cleaning spree. Swachata pledge was also administered to all. Mr. S. Chakravarti, GM. SP1 led the campaign while Mr. P. K. Dash, AGM SP1, along with Ms. Divya Sahu, MTA, coordinated the program. Earlier in a program organized at Silicon Steel Mill on 21st March, Mr. C. R. Mishra, GM in charge, SSM, led the Swachata campaign. Around 35 employees, including executives, took part in the cleanliness drive. Swachata pledge was also administered to all on the occasion. Mr. P. K. Parida, Deputy Manager Personal MM coordinated the function. On 22nd March, Swachata Drive was carried out in Kokovins Department. It was led by Mr. B. K. Tiwari, GM in charge Kokovins. Around 40 employees, including executives, took part in the cleaning activity in the shop floor. Swachata Pledge was also administered to all. The program was coordinated by Mr. Alok Kumar, Assistant Manager Personal CIS. With the objective of strengthening the safety ecosystem, Inside Sail Rautla Steel Plant, Suraksha Sanjog Setu, a new 105 meter long foot over bridge was inaugurated as raw material handling plant by Mr. Atanu Bhomik, Director in Charge RSP, with additional charge of Bukhara Steel Plant on 27th March 2024. Present on the occasion were Mr. S. R. Suryavanshi ED Works, Mr. Somnath Tripathi ED MM, Dr. B. K. Hota ED MNHS, Mr. Tarun Misra, ED PNA, with additional charge of projects, Mr. Alok Verma, ED Mines, Mr. A. K. Behruya, ED FNA, Mr. S. S. Roy Chaudhary, CGM RM HP, many chief general managers, heads of department, and other senior officers and employees of the department. Speaking on the occasion, the DIC congratulated the department collective and associated department for constructing the foot over bridge with utmost safety and without disrupting the production process, stating that shortcuts cuts one shot. The DIC urged all to create general awareness and ensure proper usage of the bridge to create a safe work environment. ED Works in his address highlighted the importance of the new foot over bridge in the context of safety and stressed upon the need of sensitization for ensuring proper usage of the bridge and strengthening the safe culture. Mr. S. S. Rai Chaudhary welcomed the gathering, briefed about the project and coordinated the function. Notably, the raw material handling plant was commissioned in 1994 when only track hopper 1 and 2 and wagger, tripler 4 and 5 were in operation. Hence, a small overbridge was constructed. After the last phase of modernization and expansion, many new equipment and facilities were added and hence a crossover bridge with greater height was required. <clears throat> Besides, in the absence of 
longer bridge people had to wait for reclearance for which jobs used to get delayed erection of the bridge was a major challenge and hence it was carried out in multiple phases with shutdown of electric overhead line without affecting unloading and operation the planning construction and erection was done under the guidance of mr s s rajaudhri by a team headed by mr n sandal gm mechanical rmhp and dedicated members comprising mr a k p parla gm operation mr k k mohanta agm electrical and mr s bhanjadeo agm mechanical from rm hp mr p tripathi gm from traffic and raw material department mr sashi kiran agm design mr manish kumar agm projects and mr anam charan behra senior manager c e s the reversing mill of silicon steel mill of sale rockla steel plant rolled 529 tons calls on 25th march 2024 to create a new single day production record it surpassed the previous best figure of 470 tons produced by the unit on 8th august 2022 <coughs> ssm also registered the best shift production by rolling 258 tons of calls in b shift on 25th march 2024 Mr. Atanu Bhumik, director in charge, RSP, with the additional charge of Bokaro Steel Plant, visited SSM shop floor on 27th March 2024 to congratulate the SSM collective for the record-breaking performance. He was accompanied by Mr. S R Suryavanshi, ED Works, RSP, Mr. Somnath Tripathi, ED MM, Mr. Tarun Misra, ED PND, with the additional charge of ED projects, Mr. Alok Verma, ED Mines, and Mr. A K Bahria, ED F and A. many chief general managers hods of different up teams upstreams as well as associated departments and a large number of executives and employees of ssm were present on the occasion mr bhomik in his address highly appreciated the collective for optimally utilizing the opportunity at reversing mill and feeding the galvanizing line of coal rolling mill with quality coals coils of varied gorges and dimensions exhorting everyone to put in their best effort the dic said key to profitability is consistency let's make uh, concerted efforts to sustain this performance with focus on quality mr suri vanshi in his address appreciated the team work and coordination between different departments which yielded the success he urged the collective to maintain the momentum and move forward to scale new peaks of excellence mr subrat kumar cgm crm ssm pps and roll shop also deliberated under the performance of the mill Mr C R Mishra GM in charge SSM coordinated the program it is noteworthy that the reversing mill of SSM is now rolling coils for galvanized mill of CRM rolling of this grade requires different op- operational approach so that the rolled coil is not work hardened as there is chance of strip breakage in galvanizing line profile of strip is being monitored regularly to minimize buckling in galvanizing line Roll shop has been providing rolls with different profiles as per mill demand. The produce coils when passed through galvanizing line have given splendid results. Yield has improved from 86% to 94% and finish has also been excellent. The record was achieved through dedicated efforts of the SSM collective with the able support from Hostrip Mill 2. research and control lab roll shop production planning and control water management department power distribution traffic and raw materials field machinery maintenance and other supporting agencies surujani mela come award function was held in different departments of sale rsp their creativity scheme saw huge one time and recurring savings incurred by the implemented suggestions and overwhelming response of the employees in the mela in a surujani function held recently at plate mill mr etwa orao cgm plate mill presided over the function mr ms mangar gm iet briefed about the status of surujani mr avinash patnaik agm plate mill coordinated the function in all 179 suggestions were awarded out of which 152 have been already implemented cash award to the tune of rupees 52650 was given to the employees one time benefit that accrued from the implemented suggestion was rupees 727 lakhs whereas the recurring benefit was amount to rupees 427 lakhs several intangible benefits have resulted from the implemented suggestions more than 70 new suggestions were generated on account of mela the surujini function held at centering plant 2 was presided over by mr viswaranjan palai 
CGM Iron, Mr. S. K. Pari, GM in charge SP2, was also present on the occasion. Mr. S. S. Punia, manager IED, briefed about the status of Srujani. Mr. S. Jena, DGM SP2, according to the function. In all, 1856 suggestions were awarded out of which 857 have already been implemented. Cash award to the tune of rupees 1,67,950 was given to the employees. One time benefit that accrued from the implemented suggestion was rupees 223 lakhs, whereas the recurring benefit was amounted to rupees 240 lakhs. Several intangible benefits have resulted from the implemented suggestions. More than 1,057 new suggestions were generated on account of Mela. Mr. T. R. Mohanty, GM in charge, SP1, presided over the Surujini function of Sintering Plant 1. Mr. S. S. Punia, manager IED, briefed about the status of Surujini. Mr. P. K. Dash, AGM SP1, coordinated the function. In all, 147 suggestions were awarded, out of which 29 have already been implemented. Cash award to the tune of Rs. 10,850 was given to the employees. Around 100 new suggestions were generated on the account of Mela. One time benefit that accrued from the implemented suggestion was Rs. 10 lakh, whereas the recurring benefit was amount to Rs. 27 lakhs. Several intangible benefits have resulted from the implemented suggestions. Around 150 new suggestions were generated on account of Mela. In order to mark National Safety Week and Steel Safety Day, a safety rat was engaged in new plate mill by a service provider organization, namely Protective General Engineering Private Limited, to raise awareness and encourage a commitment to work safely. The Suraksha Rat was flagged off by Mr. Kartikeya Behra, CGM, NPM, and SPP, and Ms. Asha Kartha, GM in charge safety engineering. Present on the occasion were Mr. RS Sharma. GM NPM Operation, Mr. Avkash Behra, GM SED, Mr. Sudhakar Subramaniam, GM NPM Mechanical, General Managers, other senior officers and a large number of contractual employees of New Plate Mill area. Addressing the gathering, Mr. Behra highlighted the importance of safety and its seriousness in one's life. Ms. Asha Kartha stressed upon the need of making safety a priority and taking responsibility for our safety and that of those around us. During the program, a safety pledge was also administered in Odia, Hindi and English by contractual employees. The Suraksha Rath was taken around different bays through the peripheral roads of New Plate Mill, Safety Engineering Department and ED Works Shop. At the outset, Mr. Suman Kumar, manager and DSO NPM welcomed the gathering and coordinated the program. In yet another interesting hazard hunt competition, more than 40 employees took part. In this, the participants had to spot the safety hazards through the pictures given to them. Persons with highest number of identified safety hazard were the winners of the event. The competition introduced for the first time evoked enthusiastic response. Employees of Sale Rorkera Steel Plant are being felicitated in different departments for their commendable performance and innovative contributions. In CNIT department, eight employees, including executives, were felicitated with Sabash Award by Mr. K. K. Sain Gupta, CGM CNIT, for their exemplary performance. Their efforts have brought about substantial improvement in processes, production and overall productivity of the plant. Present on the occasion were other senior officers of the department. The program was coordinated by Mr. V. P. Arya, AGM CNIT. Production Planning and Control PPC Department held its Sabash Award Distribution Function in ED Works Discussion Room. Ms. Sunita Singh, CGM PP and C presided over the function and handed over the awards to 18 employees including executives in the presence of other senior officers of the department. Mr. Rajesh Kumar Naik, Deputy Manager, PP and C coordinated the function. A similar function was held for employees of mechanical zone in different phrases at ED Works discussion room. Mr. R. N. Rajendran, CGM Mechanical presided over the function and handed over the awards to 70 employees, including executives. In the first phase, 26 of them were awarded. 
in the second phase 22 and in the third phase another 22 employees were awarded. The program was coordinated by Mr. K. P. Nayak, GM Mechanical. In yet another function held in the refractory department, eight employees including three executives were felicitated by Mr. Ram Krishna Patra, CGM in charge steel. Present on the occasion were Mr. Sudanshu S. Panda, GM in charge refractories and other officers and employees of the department. The awards were given keeping in view the outstanding contributions of the employees in different zones like steel melting shop 1 and 2, planning, rolling mills and blast furnace. Shrujani Mela come award function was held in different departments of sale RSP. The creativity scheme saw huge one time and recurring savings incurred by the implemented suggestions and overwhelming response of the employees in the Mela. In a Shrujani function held recently at mechanical shop, Mr. Shekhar Narayan, GM in charge, shops, mechanical and design presided over the function. Present on the occasion were Mr. S. C. Sabat, GM in charge, shops, structural and fabrication, PCS and Mr. D. K. Naik, GM, shop, RSM and Mr. P. K. Parida, Deputy Manager, Personal. Mr. B. K. Behra, AGM, IED, briefed about the status of Shrujani. Mr. N. K. Jana, Deputy Manager, Shops, Mechanical, coordinated the function. In all, 30 suggestions were awarded, out of which 16 have already been implemented. Cash award to the tune of Rs. 4,100 was given to the employees. One time benefit that accrued from the implemented suggestions was Rs 7.41 lakhs whereas the recurring benefit has amounted to Rs 1.2 lakhs. Several intangible benefits have resulted from the implemented suggestions. More than 40 new suggestions were generated on account of Mela. The Shrujani function held at Foundry Department was presided over by Mr. Shekhar Narayan, GM in charge Shops, Mechanical and Design. Present on the occasion were Mr. S. C. Sabat, GM in charge Shops, Structural and Fabrication, PCS. Mr. D. K. Nayak, GM, Shop, RSM and Mr. Caesar Banerjee, GM Foundries. Mr. B. K. Behra, AGM, IED, briefed about the status of Shrujani. Mr. A. K. Patri, Senior Technician Foundries, coordinated the function. In all, 23 suggestions were awarded out of which 14 have already been implemented. Cash award to the tune of Rs. 3,500 was given to the employees. One-time benefit that accrued from the implemented suggestions was Rs. 36.41 lakhs, whereas the recurring benefit has amounted to Rs. 28.37 lakhs. Several intangible benefits have resulted from the implemented suggestions. Around 60 new suggestions were generated on account of Mela. Mr. P. K. Sahu, CGMMS, presided over the Shrujani function of design department. Mr. Shekhar Narayan, GM, in charge shop mechanical and design, was also present on the occasion. Mr. B. K. Behra, AGM, IED, briefed about the status of Shrujani. Mr. Ravindra Behra, Junior Officer Design, coordinated the function. In all, 30 suggestions were awarded out of which 14 have already been implemented. Cash award to the tune of Rs. 3,800 was given to the employees. One-time benefit that accrued from the implemented suggestion was Rs. 86.4 lakhs. Several intangible benefits have resulted from the implemented suggestions. Around 15 new suggestions were generated on account of Mela. The Shrujani function at Crane Maintenance Department was presided by Mr. S. K. Panka, GM in charge, Crane Maintenance and Mr. P. K. Mishra, GM Crane Maintenance. Mr. B. K. Behra, AGM IED briefed about the status of Shrujani. Mr. D. Sorain, Manager, Crane Maintenance coordinated the function. In all, 114 suggestions were awarded, out of which 55 have already been implemented. Cash award to the tune of Rs 12,700 was given to the employees. One time benefit that accrued from the implemented suggestion was Rs 2.6 lakhs. Several intangible benefits have resulted from the implemented suggestions. More than 100 new suggestions were generated on account of Mela. Steel Safety Day was observed at Sale Rautla Steel Plant on 28 March 2024. Mr. Atanubhamik, Director in Charge, Rautla Steel Plant, 
with additional charge of Bokaro Steel Plant, was the chief guest in the program organized at Gopabandhu Auditorium of HRD Center. Present on the dais were Mr. Bibhu Prasad, Deputy Director, Factories and Boilers, Government of Orissa, Mr. S. R. Sudivanshi, ED Works, Dr. B. K. Hota, ED, MNHS, and Mr. Tarun Misra, ED, PND, with additional charge of projects, Mr. Alok Verma, ED, Mines, Mr. A. K. Behuria, ED, FND, Mr. Bibekanondo Nayak, and Mr. Swaraj Kumar Tripathi, both Assistant Director, Factories and Boilers, Government of Orissa, Chief General Managers of RSP, HODs, Departmental Safety Officers, Senior Officers of the Plant, and the winners of the competitions were present at the function. Addressing the gathering, Mr. Bahome congratulated the winners of various competitions and commended the efforts of Safety Engineering Department in consolidating and strengthening the safety initiatives. We need to build steel with zero harm. We have to ensure that every person who enters the plan goes home safely. It is our responsibility to protect our employees and at the same time focus on production. He emphasized and urged all to adhere to safe practices on a day-to-day -day basis. He exhorted all to look into the various aspects of production of safe steel and strengthening of the safety net in the organization. Highlighting the importance of a safe workplace, Mr. Vibhu Prasad said safety is not just one person's responsibility. It is a collective responsibility of employee right from the contact workers to the top management. Speaking on the occasion, Mr. S. R. Suryavanshi said that a single disaster avoided can be a great achievement for us in the long term. We need to identify the source of hazard and also make people aware of mitigating risks. Just like a surgeon follows from follows some SOPs before a surgery, every person entering the shop floor should follow SOPs and wear PPEs, said Dr. Hota, citing examples from medical scenario highlighting the importance of SOPs and PPEs. Mr. Tarun Misra elaborated the word safety as search the hazard, analyze the risk, Find the reason, eliminate it, tell others and you are safe now. The program began with a screening of safety video film and the rendition of safety award winning song by Mr. A.K. Dora, M.O.M.T. R.M.H.P. and his team. The DIC inaugurated Abhedhya, the safety mascot of RSP and also visited the PPE exhibition stalls at HRDC lawn. The dignitaries presented prizes to the winners of the various competitions held during the National Safety Week, such as quiz and debate competition, toolbox talk, hazard hunt, safety skits, safety song for both regular and contractual employees. Best agency, safety officers, departmental safety officers were also awarded. The judges of various competitions were also felicitated. Captive Power Plant 1 won the Champion Award for Best Housekeeping and Safety. At the outset, Ms. Asha Kartha, GM in charge, SED, delivered the welcome address. Mr. Abakasha Behra, GM, SED, proposed a formal vote of thanks. The event was coordinated by Ms. Pragyanath, Assistant Manager, Safety. A special interaction session named Chunauti was organized on 29th March 2024 at Gopabandhu Auditorium of Same Rautla Steel Plant to apprise the employees about the targets and major strategic initiatives for the year 2024-25. Increase productivity, ensure safety, promote sustainability and expand market presence, said Mr. Atanub Homi, Director in Charge, Sale RSP, with the additional charge of Bokaro Steel Plant while elaborating the targets in the FY 2024-25. Mr. S. R. Sudhavanshi ED Works, Dr. B. K. Hota ED MNHS, Mr. Tarun Misra ED PND with additional charge of ED projects, Mr. Alok Verma ED Mines and Mr. A. K. Behuria ED FNA were also present on the dais. Several CGMs, HODs, shift in charges and about 500 employees of different departments of RSP including Mines attended the program. Informing the RSP collective about major strategic decisions, Mr. Bhomik said that the Keeping in mind the negative financial implications of operating different units, it has been decided to shut down Blast Furnace 4 and close Hot Strip Mill 1 and Cold Rolling Mill. The decision to shut down these units have been taken to improve the bottom line of RSP. It is now a challenge for the RSP collective to achieve the target of producing 4.73 million tons of hot metal with two furnaces and we all have to accept it and with letter and spirit, he added. Mr. Suryavanshi, in his presentation, highlighted the likely performance of 
fiscal year 23 to 24 and the targets of each unit and RSP collective for the fiscal year 24 to 25. Through a SWOT, Strength, Weakness, Opportunity and Threat analysis, he informed about the challenges lying ahead for RSP and the strategies to overcome it in the upcoming financial year. Mr. Behuria explained the financial implications of running the Blast One S4, CRM and HSM2. He compared different scenarios and highlighted the best scenario for achieving the targets as well as improving the bottom line of RSP. Later, during the interaction session, employees gave suggestions pertaining to production, productivity, maintenance and safety issues. In his concluding remarks, the director in charge summarized the deliberations and said, we have to take on the challenge and achieve the targets. There is no provision of failing as it is pertaining to the sustainability of the organization. Earlier, the session commenced with the rendition of the national anthem. This was followed by showcasing a film made by Public Relations Department comprising motivational video. Ms. Arnapurna Behra, Senior Manager, HRDC, coordinated the program. Employees of Sale Oracle Steel Plant are being felicitated under the Sabash scheme in different departments for their commendable performance and innovative contributions. 21 executives of non-works area like Town Engineering, Town Services, Public Relations and Personal Department were awarded by Mr. Tarun Misra, EDP and A with additional charge of projects under the Shabash scheme in a function held in EDP and A Conference Hall on 25th March. Present on the occasion were Mr. P.K. Swine, CGM, TA and CSR and HODs as well as the other senior officers of the departments concerned. The program was coordinated by Mr. Somadatta Tripathi, Manager, Personal. A similar function was held by Employees of Finance and Accounts Department on 28 March 2024. Mr. A.K. Behria, E.D. FNA presented Sabash Awards to five executives and one non-executive. Present on the occasion were Mr. S.K. Naik, CGM, FNA, several other senior officers and employees of the department. The program was coordinated by Mr. P. Vijayan, GM, FNA. In yet another function held in cold rolling mill, three executives and six non-executives of the department were recently awarded under the Shabash motivational scheme. Mr. Subrat Kumar, CGM, HSM1, CRM, SSM, PPs and RS presented the awards to the employees in the presence of Mr. Gurwinder Singh, GM in charge, CRM and other senior officers of the department. The program was coordinated by Mr. B.K. Rawat, Senior Manager, CRM Operation. That's all for today's news. Namaskar. Don't forget to like, subscribe and share the videos.